Now that we've told you what's been happening with the Iranian nuclear deal talks, now remember Iran has been enriching its uranium to levels that it was not allowed to as a part of the 2015 Iranian nuclear deal. But it insisted because the Americans had violated the deal to begin with, it could carry forth enrichment till about 60%. And what is also interesting is that at this point of time, Iran is said to have enough material to in fact push forth with a program that may well exceed beyond the civilian nuclear program that it says it wants to presently develop. Our next board gets you all the details. In order for nuclear reactors to function, they require a fissile fuel called uranium-235. In the natural world, uranium is made up mostly of uranium-238, which is non-fissile. Uranium-235 represents just 0.7% of the total, so uranium-238 must be enriched. To do that, U-235 is separated from U-238 using a gas centrifuge. Uranium, in the form of gas, is introduced into the centrifuge. Rather like a salad spinner, the centrifuge spins at extremely high speeds. The two uranium isotopes separate under the effect of centrifugal force. U-238, which is heavier, is pushed out to the sides, while the lighter U-235 molecules remain at the center of the cylinder. The U-235 depleted gas returns to the previous stage while the gas slightly enriched in U-235 then passes to a second centrifuge to undergo the same process. The operation is repeated in dozens of centrifuges arranged in a cascade so as to obtain enriched uranium-235 to a level of 3.5 to 5 percent. This is the concentration necessary to drive a nuclear reactor. At least 90 percent enriched uranium is required to build a nuclear weapon. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.